Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter and welcome to Made with Unity Mondays for the 25th of April 2022, where I feature some of the best games, effects, and creations made in Unity. And be sure to submit to me if you have any awesome creations. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 135 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description for all the best savings on all the assets across the Unity Assets store and the massive Humble Bundle sales. Be sure to throw a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed with notifications to always be up to date in everything that I make. So we have Chris64 with an improvement to the legs and the position for their procedural spider. Sob Games is flying a dragon. Super Buckyball has some superhero style football techniques. Yeah, Kevin has got a little improvement that would make Unity importing or doing anything that little bit less frustrating. Heart Game has got some brand new footage and gameplay. Performance Funny 8917 has been working on this game for over a year and here's some of the action. Inventure has got a basketball game in VR with flaming basketballs. Fabio Consorti has got a Unity test where you can render scenes in a manga style. Bart Frau has got a stretch test for the new cloud system. Bon Stella underscore Tano has got a working progress for an awesome looking crosshatch shader. The repeater has got a game within a game. Red Rory of the Glen has got all the action in some of their new footage. Zixar has been working on a climbing system and let them know how it looks. Fireblade Soft has got a new announcement trailer for their retro FPS, Sentry.
Gravia Games has got an ability to create black holes at any time. FishDev is uploading a new package to the Unity Asset Store for collision based object placement and it's all for free. Pompeii has got the ability to pick levels and co-op. Felix has got more footage from the awesome looking morbid metal. We're heading back to the village of Chimali with Grimbart Tales. Roman Agapov has got a scene that is created called the Neon Cafe. Karat Kuro has got some final optimization for all of the game. So be sure to check out all these awesome creations for this week and be sure to submit to me if you have any awesome creations. Check out my Patreon to get access to over 135 different scripts, projects and assets you cannot find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store along with bonus discounts on my website. Do be sure to check out all the links in the description for all your money off sales on the Unity Asset Store and Humble Bundle. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.